helping out. Now, a big thank you to the viewers today because, uh, guys, if you're watching the stream or the video, you can go into the uh, upgrade section. There's a let's move forward uh, or it's in the foundations, right? You go to let's move forward and complete this group, advanced attacking, and it's a free 82 Casper Dolberg inform. Okay, so just do this. It might be patched. I don't think it's going to get patched, but... Yes, every time you do this, you can only do it once. You get a free Casper Dolberg in form 82. You got to put three bronzes in for nine chemistry. So make sure you guys do this today because it's free fodder. And we know how informs go. Sometimes they go to the moon. Um, all right, let's see what we got. Any SBCs today? Another showdown. Oh, this is for Europa League. Neres has five-star skills, right? Yo, and a four-star weak foot upgrade. Whoa. Oh, my God. Dude, this card looks crazy. All right, so we got Jekko here. Uh, this is a three-star, five-star weak foot. 96 finishing. He's going to be a 90. 83, 84 only. What is Neres? If Neres is 83, 84... 80, 85. Oh, wow. That's not... Uh, two team of the weeks, though. But to be honest, is that that bad? I think an 85 squad is like 125K. Bro, if this guy gets a 90 rated card, he's going to be insane. This is going to be like a team of the season, Douglas Costa, if he gets a 90-rated card. My, oh, my. It is another left wing, unfortunately. But, uh, damn, 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 damn. That's pretty cool, bro. 91 short passing, 88 finishing, 91 attack positioning. I think I'm going to do this card, chat. I know I have a lot of left wings, but I just, I love me a little skiller. I mean, that's, that's, that's really cool. So that's our showdown today. I think we're we're on a no icon wave still is my guess. Uh, we probably got a new foot player days challenge. All right, so nothing new there. We'll look at the showdown again in a minute. Uh, do we get anything else today? Let's see. Do we get anything else today? Any objectives? I just want to go ahead and check through here. I don't know if that kid is new, but that kid is fire. Kind of. Not really. I don't know. Is that fire? I don't know. Is that, is that a fire kit, chat? I don't really know. Is this a good kit? Is this a good kit? I don't know. It's kind of look fire. And now it's not too fire anymore. I don't know. So no, no, no icons, chat. Another day, another day of no icons, boys. Another day of everybody saying icon SPCs are going to be tomorrow. Now, what for me is a little interesting based on the showdown today is why did EA choose to make the Europa League players better than the Champions League players? Not saying that these two cards aren't great, but why are these guys not 88 rated? And why are these two players 88 and 89 rated? It's very interesting because, honestly, if these cards were 88 and 88, they'd have the potential to go to 90 rated. And as I said yesterday, I think both these cards are really good, including Carrera is probably full meta right now. But it's like we're, so, we're like three weeks from team of the season. And when we get to team of the season, everybody has a 95 rated card. So a little bit interesting there um, in terms of EA's rating system. But maybe it's just base ratings. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, I think if Carrera was like an 88, exactly, I would probably do him, bro, if he's 88, 89, because I just think that in a couple weeks, I probably won't use him, but um, th this is a pretty interesting card. I mean, I know that um, Roma won the first game, but I know that Ajax had like the possession and all that. I was looking at the stats. I mean, I, don't, I didn't really see this full game, but, you know, was that away? Was that at, uh, that was away. So yeah, Roma got two away goals, but guys, what? What actually doesn't matter is that for these showdowns, it's not about who goes through. It's just about who wins the game. It's just about who wins the match. That's literally it. So I think with player picks, I mean, I, I don't know what you guys think, man. I mean, I think an 85 squad, this is two team of the week, which so means at least 30K for that. This squad is going to be 10K, so 40K. And then from scratch, a full 85 squad. Um, I don't know if any of the guys yesterday had full 85 squads. I think Carrera had an 85. Carrera had an 85, so this is... He had 160K, so this is like 180K. But, saying that, I think with player picks, it's something that I, I, could, rec I could see myself recommending with player picks. I could see myself recommending this to you guys, potentially. What do you guys think? I mean, I don't think it's incredible value, but... I think Neres is a really good card. Like, I think this card has the definitional stats. Is definitional a word, by the way? Oh, my God. Definitional. All right, let's see. Definitional. Yes, it is a word. Look at my vocabulary. It is a word. Definitional. <laughs> it is 
it's a word. All right, all right, it is a word. All right, so de by definitional standards, is that what I was saying? I don't remember what I was saying, bro. De definitive? Oh, man, I'm losing my whole train of thought here. Um, all right, so Neres, I just want to see if... I think Neres has a lean body type, but I'm not too sure. Does he have a lean body type? Lean body type. He has a lean body type, boys, which is sick. And um, wow, 97 agility with 90. How tall is he? 5'9". So he's, he's like Awar's height, uh, height. 97 agility, 93 balance, 84 reactions, 92 ball control, 93 dribbling, 87 composure, 86 stamina with 76 strength. So he's low-key kind of strong too. Yeah, th this is a this is a a, a really good looking card, man. His finishing is really good. I mean, this is a really good card, Jad. No one cares about these players in April. Medium, medium is you know, I, I, work rates for me this year haven't been crazy relevant. I've re not really noticed too many players being annoying with the work rates. You just got to set the proper tactics. But um, yeah, man, five star skills, four star weak foot, medium, medium. This is a sick card. Like the concept of this card is that if he wins, right? What are the traits? Outside foot for the four-star weak foot. Good, both dribbling traits. This guy's going to be super responsive. Here's what I'm going to say, chat. If they win, he's going to have 99 agility with 98 acceleration, 98 sprint speed, 90 finishing, 93 attack positioning, 89 shot power, 93 short passing. Dude, this is a crazy card if they win. Crazy card if they win. Crazy card. They don't even have to go through. They Well, if, wait. Is there a way that Ajax can win and not go through? Maybe 1-0? Anthony to the moon. Perfect link to my Anthony. Yeah, 1-0. I mean, dude, it, yeah. If they win, this card is going to be broken as hell, man. I'm just being honest with you guys. He'll be really good. <laughs> Calm. Let's, let me see Jekyll's card real quick. Five-star weak foot, three-star skills. I mean, look. Let's be honest. If Roma wins, yes, he's going to have an incredible shooting and strength combination. And his dribbling is all not that bad. But saying that, you know what you're going to get with this card. Six foot four. He's going to be hard to he's going to be hard to move around. Um, and at this point, I think we've had Huntelar Giroud. How many of you guys in the chat have had have Huntelar Giroud right now in your club? At least one of them. In that scenario, I just think this is not worth it. Probably not. If you have one of those, and even then, even then, I don't even use those two players. So, both are in SBCs. I mean, I think... The one thing I could tell you, chat, is if you maybe got Elshar or, or, or um, Mikatarian, like maybe, but... Because this one is not as expensive. This is 82.80. Oh, this is 83.84. I thought this was 82.83. And that's what I was about to say. That's not bad. But 83.84 is too much. Um, Jordan, what's good, bro? And then I guess the I guess the story of today is that we still don't have icons, man. We're still lacking. And, and, and the worry that I have, bro, is this, right? Do we think that EA is going to wait 21 days for these ones to expire? Because that would be really painful. That would be really painful. I really hope that's not the case. I mean, that, that would be really painful. They were doing so well, man. We were getting icons like every week or 10 days, bro. Three. And I think what EA should do, bro, moving forward with these icons, right? Just sprinkle them. Now, my one theory is that I think EA is doing this promo right now so that they can release more icons that are top tier because the fodder is still too much. Maybe, but just sprinkle them, bro. I don't know about this three at a time thing. Maybe we just do one on Monday. We do one on Wednesday and we do one on Friday or something, bro. You know, I think that would be ideal, bro. We get one, at, one every two days, but my, uh, I have two theories here, right? Number one, EA is doing this promo specifically to drop the prices of fodder so they can drop more high tier icons. Number two, my other theory is that we're not going to get icons until 21 days because 21 days is when Team of the Season starts. I think Team of the Season is going to be on. I'll tell you guys right now. I think Team of the Season is going to be on Friday, April 30th. That's when I think Team of the Season is going to start this year. That's my guess. So that would be that these would expire on Saturday. So I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it, it'll be interesting to see. 
Guys, in the chat, did we have two for one packs today? I think we had two for one packs. Now everything we all, we have a lot of cards. League football doesn't end until May third, twenty third. Yeah, but the Euros are starting June eleventh, bro. Right, so you have to look at it on the timeline where EA can the, the fastest EA can do a team of the season is six weeks, five weeks. So it has to be April thirtieth. The Euros start June eleventh, right? When the Euros start, the same thing with festival football, all that stuff, right? That the focus just shifts right to that, right? To them just doing God tier men of the match cards and shit like that. So that's they don't have the right to the Euros. They don't need the rights to the Euros, guys, to post man of the match cards. I don't think they just it's a domestic. It's it's a man of the match. There's no way. There's no way they're not gonna have. I mean. They don't have the rights to do any, like, World Cup mode. Because Pez is doing the Euro Cup mode. They already have that in the game, I think. There's no way we're not going to get any content this summer related to the Euros. I think. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Um, and then, obviously, we have all these cards still in packs. Which, we've just seen, like, there's some pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy drops. I mean, yeah, we got two-for-one packs again today. I mean, this Van Dyke was... I mean, this was just a really rare card, so he was super overpriced. But still, man. He was uh he was uh 830k. Like imagine imagine with these promos, right? Imagine you had this guy on your team at 830k, 900k and he drops to 3 3 380. I mean, at that point you want to quit FIFA. You want to stop playing FIFA. There's no way you you keep playing FIFA. This card was like I mean, this card was a lot of coins too, right? And then boom, back on the market he comes now, right? 853 crazy man it's crazy these a lot of these cards like just went just went literally in half they they just halved in price it's nuts same maximum foot freeze 450 was 6 630 or some shit so pretty crazy drops in some of these cards for sure i flipped the moment yesterday man anybody joining the stream um i got him at 13 3 to try out now he's 14 3 but i sold him at 14 7 so that was fun but uh yeah a lot of these top tier cards as well i mean even though we're not getting icon species and they're still wickedly overpriced the only one that's not on the market ever is R9. Uh, Pele is on the market sometimes for like 20, 30 minutes. Then he goes. But uh, I saw Dino yesterday at 13-1. He didn't sell. Um, so we're, we're really starting to see a correction with some of these cards. You know, even the more of the God tier ones. I got this real at 2-3 yesterday. I mean, there's, a, there's been, a, there's been a, a dip for sure on some of these top tier ones. Obviously, some of the, the God tier ones are still a lot, though. That's, uh, wow, Henri is 3-2 today. Henri is 3-2, so Henri's coming back down. Henri was a lot, man. Henri is 3-2. That's really low. 3-2 for Henri, man. So, yeah, man. A little, a little correction going on with these guys as well. Was that George Best at 3-7? Garincha at 4-6. But, again, these guys these guys go up and down a lot. I mean, would it surprise me that they go back up a little bit? These guys go up and down a ton. From what I see a lot of the time. Maradona keeps touching, like, 5, and then he goes up a ton. It's weird. Some of these guys, they have, like, these floors, right, where they... They hit the price, and then once they hit the price, they, they go flying. They go flying. So, I guess we keep waiting for icons, chat. I guess we keep waiting for icons, man. That, that, that seems like the uh, that seems like the vibe at the moment, guys. We're going to have to keep waiting for icons, man. Which is annoying, bro. It is fucking annoying, but we're going to have to keep waiting. You know, that's what it is, guys.